Hey guys, it's Kenji, and today I'm doing the Netflix book tag. You'll notice the change of scenery. I am actually in my family's solarium because it's 12 o'clock here, and so the rest of my family is sleeping, and uh, my room is smack dab in the middle of it all. So I decided to bring myself into isolation so I could record this beautiful video for you. I am suddenly really tired, so I'm sorry if I seem sluggish or uh, just straight tired, because I am. So let's just hop into it. Oh, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Question number one. Recently watched the last book uh, you finished reading. Mine is Dark Wolf by Kimber White. Um, it is a werewolf romance. That's it. Two. Top picks, a book or books that have been recommended to you based on a book you previously read. This was a while back. I really haven't gotten recommended any books lately, but I was recommended Oh My Gods by Terry Lynchild, and it is about a uh, young girl who finds out that she's actually the daughter of a Greek god, and uh, it's about her finding out who her parent is, and it's a really good book. Um, I'd definitely say if you're a fan of Percy Jackson to definitely try and read it. It's hilarious. It's funny. The Greek mythology is spot on, and it's not like you're like, it's not like Percy Jackson the Max, but like, it's actually, it's a really good book series, so just freaking read it, okay? Thank you. Bye. Question number three is recently added, the last book you bought, and the last book I bought is The Savage Song by Veronica Schwab. I don't know what this book is about. It was $1.99, and so I got it on my Kindle. That's it. Question number four, popular on Netflix. Books that everyone knows about. Two that you've read and two that you have read and didn't like or just have no interest in reading. Two books that I have read that I liked are Graceling by whoever and Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. And the two books that I have, well, two books that I really have no interest in either Reading or finishing is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey and Looking for Alaska by John Green. Question number five is comedies, a funny book. For this question, I'm going with My Life Next Door by Helmy Fitzpatrick. This book is hilarious. If you have not read this book, I would highly suggest picking it up. It is a way like contemporary romance about this young girl who has kind of sworn off her next door neighbor's family and like befriending them because her mom is like some snooty bitch. And so, but she finally ends up um, being introduced to one of the sons from the next door family and their story takes off from there. The thing that's funny about the story is the Garrett family or the guy's um, family is, oh, they are hysterical. There's like eight of them and they are just, I long to be a part of the Garrett's. Like, let's just put it that way. Yep. Question number six is dramas. A character who is a drama queen or king. I am going with Clary Frey from The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I got, you know, it's just, you get me. We get each other. Right. Question number seven is animated, a book with a cartoon on the cover. For this, I'm going with The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. Um, this is a children's book about a gorilla named Ivan who lives in a circus and it's basically about his life in his cage and blah blah blah. And then this little baby elephant named Stella comes in and the story really kind of takes off from there. It is so cute and so well written, and I'd highly suggest picking this up. I know I'm saying that a lot. I'm tired, but I actually like really liked this book, and I really think that you guys should read it, along with the other book. <laughs> Question number eight is Watched Again, a book or book series that you want to reread. Mine is Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. I've actually only read this book series once, and that was when I was 16, so that was, what, four years ago? And, uh... Yeah, I kind of want to refresh my mind on Harry Potter and just dive back into that world. And yeah, I think I deserve that as a person because, yep, probably not going to get to it because it's freaking big. There's a lot. 
Question number nine, is documentaries a nonfiction book that you would recommend? For this, I'm going with Unfiltered, No Shame, No Regrets, Just Me by Lily Collins. I personally have not read this book, but my little sister has, and she is a huge fan of this book. She's kind of a huge fan of Lily Collins, so she might be a little biased, but I trust her opinion. I not a big nonfiction reader. I really am not drawn to that genre. And so this, this is what I got for you guys. I actually really want to read this book. It sounds really interesting and yeah, that's all I got. Question number 10 is action and adventure, an action packed book. And uh, for this question, I'm going with House of Hades by Rick Riordan. If you've read this book, you should get me. You should get me. Um, it's very action packed, very dark and twisted and uh, yeah, I love it. Obviously, it's Percy Jackson. And question number 11, is new releases a, a book that just came out or will be released soon? And that is Zenith by Sasha Ellsberg. I am so excited for this book and I'm so proud of Sasha for writing this and like, or co-writing this and publishing it and just, yeah. Yeah. All right, that is it for this video. Um, yeah, I got nothing. I'm tired. Comment, like, subscribe. Thanks guys.